Good morning, European traders. Private TRFX coming at you on the 2nd of May. Quick look at the oil chart. We got what we wanted yesterday. We sold oil through 67.20. Went down to 66.85. At that point, it was down close to 3%. We probably should have been more conservative on this, getting our average better, but we were not. Uh, we ended up scratching the trade. Still looks pretty negative, but not as negative as we would have liked. So the close, uh, 67.25, we're at 40 now. If we get follow through today, through 66.90, uh, this is important. So we want to keep an eye on this oil, oil chart, oil, um, oil chart. Take a look at some of the currencies. We got what we wanted yesterday. Cable lower, Euro Yen lower, Dollar Swiss higher. New day today. Uh, the charts are not great, I have to say. This Dollar CAD chart is actually a decent false break above 129 the figure. 128.10 is going to be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know what's going to drive it. There's really no data out of Canada. We do have FOMC tonight, obviously with oil sort of leaning left this doesn't make a whole lot of sense so we're just putting it on the radar we're watching it waiting for a story to develop waiting to see what VXY is doing Aussie Cat and Kiwi Aussie and Kiwi what are they doing uh, but this is a radar Tr just putting it on the radar 128.10 just kind of as a recap cable got slapped all the way down to uh, I think 88, yeah. Euro closed below the 200 day, DXY well through the 200 day, which will now be support. We're going to keep our powder dry, as our North American colleagues mentioned. Um, we're just going to keep our powder dry until FOMC today. We do have European. Uh, data. We've got manufacturing, PMI, and GDP. Uh, like a lot of European data, these will not be super volatil volatility inducing. So we'll watch. Uh, no real levels, no real trades. We're looking for better setups now. The charts are quite stretched. Aussie traded last night close to 75 again, Aussie stretched, Kiwi stretched, they're all pretty stretched and so now we're just waiting. Um, Dollar CAD's the best chart out there, but the story's not that great. Quick note on the stocks, obviously Apple beat last night. Um, we talked about this a couple days ago, patience uh, with our Tesla, short idea, patience with general Fang shorts. Obviously, Fangs had a good day yesterday. Facebook at 173 now. Tesla almost at 300. Um, we don't really ever short Google, but Google is, I think, uh, somewhere. I don't know. Um, we want to wait. Still, continue to be patient with this. Around 3:30. We're going to uh, relook at Tesla between 179 and 189. We initiate shorts in Facebook. Netflix. Uh, less, less bearish Netflix, but I th up at 330, uh, you can kind of actively trade a Netflix short. So, still got some time, another 10%. Just wanted to throw those out there. Keep in mind, again, put it on the radar. A lot of the trading done here is watching levels for a very long time and then pulling the trigger after watching them. And when there are no levels out there, do not trade. So we will not be trading at the European Open today. There are no levels that we like. We are watching, waiting, and we'll see what happens. Wish you guys good luck today, and I will see you at the New York Open.